Are you curious about bodies, pleasure, and possibilities? And what about curious about what others are up to on the planet when it comes to pleasure, sex, and play? Have you considered what pleasure can do for your life, your body, and your bank account? Do you know something magical, delightful, and out of this world orgasmic is not only possible for you, but totally available to you? If you're ready to be the magical, sexual, sexy beast you know you can be, and you just need the tools to get there, you're in the right place. Now, here's the host of The Pleasure Zone, sensual movement artist, relationship, and sex alchemist, Milica Yelenich. Welcome, my sweet pleasure seekers. Tonight we have a guest. We haven't had a guest in a while, and we have a guest tonight, and we're going to be talking about how to have it all in sex and life, because sex is actually part of life. I know, surprise, sex is part of life. It's actually how we, we get life. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> we don't like to talk about it that much, do we? Because it's shy. It's a shy topic. So we will be talking about all that today. My questions to you listeners are, have you ever wondered if it's even possible to have it all in sex and life? Because you're like, well, I could all have it all in sex, but the rest of my life, not so much. I could have it all in business, but I can't have it all in sex. I could have it all with my house. And you might just go exclusive. Like you're like, I can have it all in one, but not the other. So what if there's actually a way to have it all in sex and life? And today we're going to find out how that is with my guest, Grace Covington, who I found on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of cool because I was like, whoa, we're actually using the same name for something. That's cool. Let's talk. So Grace is here because Grace had the brilliance of putting up the word, the pleasure zone on one of her <laughs> posts. And I freaking found it. And if you want to be brilliant like Grace and tag me in something mm -hmm. or tag the pleasure zone, I will find you and I might actually invite you on my show. So I love it. That was awesome. And um, we're going to find out how to have this all from Grace, who actually facilitates entrepreneurs, creatives, coaches, and she creates this great coaching life of hers with all kinds of different things like energetics of creation using high vibe strategy which allows your business to thrive with ease and grace has facilitated many women to go from zero to thriving in their business using a high vibe strategy that is centered around what i believe she wrote as as pleasure principles and yes. around pleasure principles like what you can have use pleasure principles, which I'm like, I like the terms pleasure, pleasure, that pleasure <laughs> principles. And the first thing, my curiosity, Grace, was what had you interested in creating coaching based on pleasure principles? Oh, I love that question. So this idea was birthed from my own pain when I was working in corporate America and had no pleasure at all. Like I can remember so many jobs where I was falling asleep, hated what I was doing. And it just kind of took away like my energy. And I knew that there was a different possibility where like when we began this conversation is you can have it all and receive all of this pleasure while you are creating your life, while you're creating your business, while you are doing the dishes, while you are having sex, while you are, are out in the garden, while you are out naked, it is not exclusive to a specific task. It is an energy that's always available for you to play with and create with. So that's when I started experiencing this energy for myself, I was like, I wonder what it would look like if I started including these energies in business, if I started including these energies in sales conversations, if I started in playing more like in the bedroom, like what would actually show up for me when I was fully immersed and committed to honoring these pleasure principles that are here for us. I love every that. single day. <laughs> I know it, it's, I love that because it's so in line with um, how I 
I feel about life too. And what essentially had me create a different life as well. So I'm curious from your, your perspective, what are some of the things that you would term as pleasure principles? Because we all have kind of a different uh, take on pleasure. So I'm just curious what your take on pleasure principles are. Yeah, for, so for me, it includes the space where you are not judging your body. So when you are in that space, you are receiving everything and you are actually getting turned on by everything around you. People are so afraid of being turned on. And I think culture, society has made it wrong to be too much. And so people start to turn down these energies, try to dim them down by maybe, you know, using food, alcohol, or not being present in your body. So for me, all of this is activated in the space where you are not judging yourself. You are fully present in your body and you're not making anything significant, like judging a certain energy as wrong or bad. You're just playing with it all and just allowing that energy to guide you and lead you into having more. And more and it. more and more. <laughs> it's like you're my sister that I have <laughs> so. Hey, we could be sisters, you know. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> so, so as you've been developing these um, pleasure principles in your life and utilizing them, what have you noticed as some of the things that have changed for you? Oh my goodness. Like so many things, like money has changed where it's not about this difficulty of creating money. It becomes a space where you have peace with money because you're receiving more and then money starts showing up in all these different ways and you create with ease. So it's not about creating with force where you're, let's say you're on a sales call. I'm going to just bring you know, real practical terms that people use And most people are always trying to follow the script and always trying to say the right words. But what if just by showing up and just by being in this space where you're not judging you, you're not trying to get something right and you're just allowing yourself to show up and play with the energies there, you can start to tap into exactly what the person you are conversing with requires and they start to get pulled in by the sound of your voice because you're being this space this this invitation to this whole other world that they have never experienced and they're like oh my god my body's turned on like I want yes please sign me up for that offer so (laughs) It just moves you into this natural orgasmic space of creation. And it's not creating by force. It's not creating by difficulty. It's the space where you're truly showing up and receiving in that moment. Yeah. So pleasure. So there, there was a a book that was written years ago. I think it was by the fellow's name was Hawking. Hawking's power versus force, right? This could be pleasure versus force. Yes. And, and so oh. many ways that um, we've misidentified the, yes. the idea of pleasure, that pleasure has to be uh, something that's like an, uh, almost like an aggressive act of seeking. Mm. And what if pleasure is not that at all? Uh, we look at it, you know, when, uh, when I think of this and I think of it as in like the animal kingdom, we, we are animal in the animal kingdom. There's usually, you know, some one of the creatures is trying to put on a show for the other one to entice or seduce um, the, you know, the mate to show up. And there is sort of an aggressive act of almost like a demanding presence for that partner Mm. to choose them. And Mm. maybe, maybe because we have a a different way of being um, we are animalistic still, but we do have a different Mm. way of perceiving things than animals do. Mm-hmm. that I, I wonder can we do it differently like can we can we approach things in a way that doesn't have to be so animalistic uh, and so yes. aggressive yeah yeah I love that because I think when you know we define what masculine is and how you have to be in the world to be successful it is all of these masculine qualities that you have to be tough you have to be hard 
you have to be forceful and none of that is actually required. What is required is really being aware of these energies that are always with you and around you and creating them. And sometimes, yes, you do have to, you know, be firm in your decisions. You know, sometimes you do have to command things, but you can still do that from a space of pleasure where it's not, um, it actually contributes rather than takes away from, you know, that space, that conversation. For sure. So there's, I think there's such beauty in looking at how in conversations and in relationships with, um, well, we tend to relate with others and ourselves, just yeah. even wondering like what, what contribution can this, this conversation be? And even uh, when I do like social media, um, which I don't put a lot of my own posts out, but when yeah. I go and I interact with people, I will, I will literally stop first and ask, like, if I write this, is this going to be a contribution to their life, to my life? Mm. Um, Because a lot of us right now, we're operating from a lot of unconsciousness and operating from a lot of fear and anger and resentments and all kinds of things. Yes. Sometimes just taking a moment to ask, is this a contribution? So that the word, um, like, to to contribute to somebody or to, to be a contribution to me is such a um key like a key factor in pleasure because if Mm. you're contributing to people you're going to receive pleasure from that act and they're going to receive it as Mm. well it's going to be a mutual just your action of gifting it's going to give you that back so there's some Uh. i think there's some simplicity in that and some super beauty in just looking at how we can be that with absolutely and i love like where you are taking this like i even think about health and i know like you know during the times that we're in with covid and everything and really being in these energies i really believe that it actually regenerates your cells and does so much for the body because you're not in the space of fear and constriction and worry and judgment you're in the space of flow and just being willing to live your life in this way. I wonder, you know, what that would create in terms of disease and changing things like changing what is actually not working. Cause if, if there is, I just think, I think I read, you've probably heard this before. Like, let's say um, there, there's a group of trees in a forest and let's say one of those trees is not receiving the water and the nutrition and then all of the roots around that tree start to funnel Mm -hmm. what they have to that tree and what if we can actually do that with our own cells if there are cells that are not thriving that are not doing well but just based on the energy that you're being based on the space of receiving and pleasure what if that actually creates change in our body and brings us into the space of rejuvenation, brings us, takes us back to the fountain of youth that, you know, that we can be with our bodies. I love that. It totally reminds me of Avatar. Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> that was one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. Those roots, right. All those. Yes. We do have yes. those within us. We have all mm-hmm. of that, not only our neurological system, but, are our, our, our just our, even on a cellular level, we are yes. all of ourselves just interacting with each other. By having one cell that's, that is, um, say for example, like a blood cell, if it becomes yeah. Yeah. unhealthy, right? And it gets into more of uh, less of an elliptical shape and more of like a flattened shape. Yeah. Then the cells around it clump onto it and the disease mm. compounds, right? But once we create that one space for that one cell that might've been diseased, if you actually leave it and allow it to have space it can regenerate itself so to me having having that willingness to seek out where we can gift the energy that's going to create that big change whether it's to feed those roots of the tree which is really funny that you said that thing about the roots of the tree i do these daily uh, daily i do weekly readings for a group of people and um, one of the readings this week was literally about the roots of the tree and seeing where for this person to look at their life as, as if it was a tree with the roots and looking at 
the minerals that are required to sustain mm. it. And look, so I thought it was very cool because I, I, I was working with that imagery today. And yeah. we often forget how deep it goes, like how, mm. how and, and how even if we do heal the trees, we heal ourselves. And if we allow the, the trees to heal us, it heals yes. them. Yes. So it's so yes. mutual. Yes, yes. Oh, you're definitely my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 lo- I will like utilize trees all the time. Or if I see, I have a forest. Mm-hmm. So I live in a, a forest oh. in Canada. I'm surrounded by like, um, I have 45 mm-hmm. acres and 35 of oh, this forest. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I get to go wow. out and, and sometimes I'll see trees who are literally like calling me, right? And I was like, okay, oh. I'll contribute to you. And sometimes the greatest gift is letting them uh, like receive me receiving them. It's like mm. sex to me, right? Yeah. So yes. like when you allow yes. somebody yes. to have sex with you yes, and, th- yeah. and you actually receive their body, it can be the greatest gift for them yeah. to have you allow that. So yeah. trees will do the same, nature. Yes, the same. nature yeah. does that a lot, yeah. a lot. So I love yeah. that. We're going to talk more about this because it's fun. Ooh, so yeah. we're heading to our first commercial break, folks. You're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back after this commercial. Are you secretly a voyeur wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives? What if now is the time for a totally different sexual evolution? Are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices? Lean in now with Melitza Yelenich, where she will entice you and your body to know your own pleasure zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for the Pleasure Zone with Melitza. Every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world, knowing your voice matters, and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email becomeahost at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email, info at MelitzaYelenich.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, my sweet, sweet pleasure seekers. Tonight, we are talking about how to have it all in sex because this is the pleasure zone and life again it's the pleasure zone so this topic is all juicy and we're talking about how do you have it all and if you have missed the first uh, segment of the show um, grace was giving us some tips and tools on things to look for in order to be able to have more pleasure in your life and she for her realized what was going on in her life when she was working jobs that were just not working for her and uh, realizing that there is something else possible out there. For me, the big question is to always have that curiosity of looking for something that will gift you something, anything, whether it's pleasure or joy or whatever it is you're looking for. And we did talk a little bit about um, how the lack of that can create issues and problems and disease and bodies and even in your life. You can have disease in your finances as well. People don't often think of it as a disease, but um, the word dis-ease to me is just the broken up word of dis and ease. It's just the lack of ease. So if you're having, you know, if you think you're having disease in your body, sometimes you also got disease in your finances. Sometimes you got disease in your pleasure areas. And so we're talking about all of that and looking for different things that you can look for in your life to see, hey, maybe I'm not having the pleasure I thought I was having, or maybe 
I am having pleasure in some areas, but not other areas. So we're looking for this all encompassing, how do we have it in every area, sex and life. And my curiosity, Grace, is mm -hmm. for people who don't know if they're having pleasure or not, what are some things that you think they could look for mm -hmm. so they could identify, am I having pleasure? Am I not having yes. pleasure? I don't know. Yes, I love that. I love that. And our bodies are always communicating with us. So if you start experiencing pain, I know for me, I start getting headaches, then I know that I'm either not fully present in my body, I'm not receiving, I'm not in that space of pleasure, or I actually do need to go and receive more pleasure. My body is always communicating and letting me know exactly what it requires. It could be a pain or you're just, you feel agitated or anxiety. It shows up differently for every single person, but your body will let you know. The key is, are you listening? Do you listen? Or do you just override that and say, no, I have a headache. I'm going to go take an aspirin. And rather than looking at what does your body actually require in that moment? And do you give your body what it requires or do you ignore it or abuse it or judge it? Like we have this choice and this barometer that is always communicating with us and letting us know how to receive more pleasure. <laughs> yes to that so we do have our bodies are huge barometers and they yeah. pick up information on so many levels and they are constantly picking up that information and deciphering it and giving us feedback so for when i work with people a lot you know when i i'll say stuff like that to them too i'm like so mm -hmm. just get it get you to have a little conversation with your body mm -hmm. see what your body's talking to you and mm -hmm. the the one thing that i had consistently get from a lot of people is I don't know what my body is saying. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, what are you experiencing? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd love to hear your, like your information on that. Like how do people know? So mm -hmm. for example, you get headaches. What are some mm -hmm. things um, like how, how can people kind of develop a, say a rapport or yes. a communication with their body? So they actually can have a consistency with knowing what is my body saying? Yes, it is definitely a muscle because I think in our society, we are taken away from that. We are told to live our lives outside of our bodies, to experience life outside of our bodies. So it is a daily practice. And sometimes that can be just simply being present in your body, uh, me meditation, because then you start to become aware of, oh, there's a tingle in my toe. And then you start to perceive the energy when like, let's say you put your feet on the ground and you're like, oh my God, this is like turning me on, just, you know, connecting to the earth. And so the more you're present, whether if you're doing a meditation practice or just being still laying down, you know, on your bed and just perceiving, starting to like perceive, like, what are you perceiving? Like, what sensations do you perceive just laying down and being present? That allows you to start to be in tune with your body, because then you're aware of when a different energy comes in or when something is off. And to really cultivate that is practicing not judging your body because then you're aware of everything. Because if you are focused on judgment, that is all you're going to see. That is, those are the only energies you, you're only going to perceive because nothing else, you just have this tunnel vision. But when you let go of that and just be with your body, your body will communicate. It will let you know. And so I know for me, I have created like specific meditations that because I realize a lot of women come into this space where, you know, they may have been sexually abused, they may have disconnected from their body, and then just bringing that back to that space of honoring your body and healing, and then the space starts to open up for you and releasing that trauma that you know you experienced as a child, a teenager, you know, when or when or even as an adult. 
Because once you release that, that opens up these the space for you to really connect with your body from a space of no judgment. That's that is so beautiful. There, there is so much, or maybe I've just been noticing it. So much talk of um, trauma and yeah. getting coaching for trauma these days, and um, different modalities for releasing trauma. And mm. and I think it's incredible because 20 years ago, mm-hmm. when I was looking for something to get trauma out of my body, mm-hmm. um, it was rare, and I could find energy work here and there, but. Even then, things like Reiki were not that common, right? And now it's like everybody, and hey, even my dog was trained in Reiki. Like everybody does. does, Something. Right? Like I I think, so in the area I live in, I could probably tell you in the 10 kilometer uh, range, there's probably 15 practitioners of different holistic uh, modalities. Wow, that's amazing. That is Yeah, and those are the ones I know of. Wow. (laughs) So so it's pretty wild, especially considering... um, in a 10 kilometer range, there's probably yeah. only 40 houses. So, wow. Yeah. So it's, it's wild. And, and people, there are hubs in the world where people are kind of attracted to these things. Mm-hmm. And, and I happen to live in a, a part of um, Ontario and Canada that has, it's kind of, we call it like the Sedona of the North. Uh, it's kind of oh, got wow. these like things about it. We've got like wow. high rich mineral content. We've got, wow. I don't know, it's kind of witchy and wild and weird and um, you yeah. know, alien stuff going on. Like we got stuff nice. here. So That's it's, fun. it's kind of fun and, and it, and it attracts like a very wide range of people. So we do have oh, a lot of wow. holistic healers and, and so when I, what, I, what I was saying is like, it's amazing to me how available it is. And I love that it's so available and that you could, you know, just go anywhere and find this. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can find so many different uh, choices for releasing trauma. trauma. And, and it yeah. was not something that was prevalent years ago. So if you, if you experienced trauma, like, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago, mm-hmm. that trauma is still in you. Yes. The chances yep. are you did not have a way for your body to release that unless Set, you yep. did some kind of wild magic in some shamanic ritual that you found yeah. somewhere in the 60s when you were having some hippie experience. Yeah. But the chances are pretty low, right? Yep. So what are some things um, that you are aware of with that? Tra- like, because you brought up trauma and, and I think trauma mm-hmm. is such an important discussion with pleasure. Uh, you yes. Trauma, you can't have that. pleasure. Yeah, you right? can't. You you yeah. really can't um, at all, because that is still the dominant energy that's taken over. And so I what I've noticed with some of the women that have experienced trauma and know that, you know, they have to work through it is this disconnection from not knowing who you are, like not even knowing how to create your life and how to choose, like you feel like you don't deserve to have the things that will truly turn you on. So those are the signs and symptoms that usually come with that trauma is I'm not good enough. I'm not valuable. Um, I I can't create the money that that I require, or I can't create more than enough. So it shows up in different ways. Sometimes it is literally your bank account screaming. Sometimes it's your body where certain things start to show up, or you're not willing to be seen on video. Like you shy away from that. You're always seeking validation from other people to prove that you are good enough. So it shows up in subtle ways. And sometimes it is pretty intense based on how much you've actually hidden and how much are you willing to expose and, you know, be vulnerable in that space and, and really release it from your body. It's such an important thing the releasing it from the body a lot of people are aware of it and some people yeah. are not aware of it, but when you become aware of it, then there's the piece of letting it go out of your body. Yeah. We have a commercial coming up, but I'm wondering, Grace, Yeah. Um, would it be ease for you? Would it be fun for you to take us through a meditation uh, on that through in the next segment? 
because I'd love to do that with you. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, I'm going to follow the energy. I'll love follow it. the energy on that and uh, move into that space because, yes, there could be women that show up that are struggling with that and being able to really change that and know that it is a choice. You can change it just by saying and choosing it. It's that simple. I love that. And I'm hoping that um, we'll be able to get this as a clip for you so you can utilize that too. Oh, perfect. I I hope we can have it as a clip. (laughs) I think we'll find a way. So uh, everybody stay tuned because I'd love for you to join us, whether you're a man or a woman and if you experience trauma, um, you know, that's wonderful that you showed up today because what an opportunity that you get to have a chance to go through this um, this releasing exercise, this meditation, this following the energy with Grace Covington when we come back from our commercial break. So you're listening to The Pleasure Zone here on Inspired Choices Network. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned and come back right with us after this break. Yeah. Are you secretly a voyeur wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives? <laughs> what if now is the time for a totally different <laughs> sexual evolution? Are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices? Lean in now with Melitza Yelenich, where she will entice you and your body to know your own pleasure zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Milica every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Interested in masturbating for money, copulating for consciousness, and pleasuring on purpose? 21 Days of Sexual Magicism with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich is an exploration of tools, processes, and actions that you can use to create more for your life, your body, your money inflows, and so much more. Graduated learning for all levels of interest. Learn at your own pace via video classes or join the yearly live class. Take a peek at www.melitzayelenich.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Melitza Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email, info at melitzayelenich.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, my sweet pleasure seekers. Tonight, we're speaking with Grace Covington, all about how to have it all in sex and life, because they actually do go together. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but for those of you who are now listening, we just recently got on Audible. So you can find us there nice. along with 200 and something, something. I don't even know the numbers anymore. Other locations. You can find us on like iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Spotify, you name it. Um, you will find us lit 225 locations. It's like every week I come on here to say how many locations and uh, thank goodness my friend and producer knows because she's the one in charge of getting us all in all these locations and it changes literally every week. So wow. yay, how does it get any more fun than that? And ease for you guys out there listening to find us everywhere on every possible uh, location that you can locate um, podcasts. So I'm very excited that that just showed up because I know so many listeners listen to 
to uh, Audible these days, and it's great. Mm. So I'm, I'm very excited. I'd love, Grace, for you to share a little bit how the listeners can get a hold of you um, as well, so that once they hear, you know, this, the meditation <laughs> slash energy following that you're going to do for us, um, they, I'm sure they'll feel like super excited and would love to get a hold of you. So uh, let them know. Absolutely. Yes. So you can get a hold of me by going to my website, www w.createwithease.com, all one word. And you can find me on Instagram as well. My handle is at create with ease. And so real simple. She's got a great, <laughs> great Instagram, lots of stuff mm-hmm. all the time. She's lots of lives on Instagram. So you're going to find lots of great info and oh, insights on thank there. You. So, but connect with her because she'll have other, other things for you too. So um, I'm excited and my body's ready to receive. Yes. So let's rock and roll sister. Let's do this. Let's really let go of any trauma, any abuse, anything that is no longer serving your body. So this exercise, if you are willing, I know we are sitting right now, but feel free to get completely naked and get to a space where you're either sitting laying down, you can put your sweet feet on the ground and just breathe in, take a nice deep breath in, exhale out, releasing anything that does not contribute to your body. And so as you are relaxing and becoming present, and your body and your feet are on the ground, start to pull energy from the earth, the sweet earth that contributes to you every single day, the earth that is ready to acknowledge you for your brilliance, for your potency, for your beauty, for everything that you came to facilitate and change on this planet. Just allow that energy to move through your feet. And as that energy moves through your feet, let go of all of the judgments that you've ever had on your body. And everywhere where you have stored these judgments in your feet, release them. Release all the lies that people have told you about your feet, if they're too big, too ugly. Release all the pain that you have run away from. Allow the earth's healing energy to completely transform, change, and for you to completely release all of the pain that you have held onto. And as you are releasing, allow the earth's energy to play with you. Go back to that space where you knew that it is a gift to be alive, that it is a joy to be on this planet where you were playful where you are naturally in the space of orgasm. Allow the earth's energy to remind you of those energies as those energies move along your legs, caressing you, turning your body on. And allow those energies to continue to turn your body on in ways that you have never allowed yourself to be so turned on. And as we come to your knees, we're going to allow the earth's energy to release, to cleanse, to detoxify all pain, all anger, all rage, Everywhere where you were not acknowledged, everywhere where you were made wrong for being you, for being too much, for showing up in your brilliance, 
allow the earth's energy to change all of that now. And as that energy moves through, take another deep breath in, exhale out and notice how turned on your body is already becoming by you being present and being aware of these energies that contribute to you. And as the energy moves through your thighs, perceive that energy. What do you notice? What are you noticing? Is it a tingling sensation, a pain? Just channel that energy to where you may have pain in your body right now if you have pain. And if you don't, and if you are turned on, receive even more, even more, even more, even more, even more. Now, as the energy moves through to your vagina, if you are a woman, your penis, if you are a man, or if you don't identify with female or male to the space in your body that I am, that you are aware of that I am speaking about. So allow that energy to move through your vagina, your penis, and just let it be. And everywhere where you've made your vagina wrong, everywhere where you have taken on other people's realities about how much pleasure you can receive, release that now. And everywhere where you are judged for being turned on, for desiring to be so orgasmic, and that was made wrong, release that now. And everywhere where you were abused, where your body was misused, penetrated in a way that did not contribute to you. Release all of those energies now. And all of the lies that you have bought from this reality about what it means to have a vagina, what it means to have a penis, release all of those now. And allow the Earth's healing energies to move through your uterus, your pelvis, your bladder, all of those internal organs receive. You can start to open your legs a little wider and allow that energy to just move through. All of the wrongness, if you've judged your vagina as too smelly, or the wrong pH or your penis as too small, not big enough, release all of those lies now. And let's go a little bit deeper on a cellular molecular level. Allow those healing energies to move through, to cleanse, to heal. And all that is required for you to receive is your choice. It is just your choice to release, to let go. On a count of three, we're going to take any of the leftover remnants that may still be lingering from any past lifetime, from any dimension, childhood. We're going to take all of those energies and the count of three, you are going to push them out and they're going to completely dissipate, be destroyed, and never come back to you or your body or this reality again. One, 
two, three, release. And allow that energy to move through your stomach. And change anything that is not working in your body. You have activated a powerful energy by you acknowledging the earth and acknowledging that you co-create with the earth that you are contributed to. So even though I'm moving fast, the magic is already there. It doesn't turn off. It doesn't go away. Right now, as I'm speaking, it is working and healing and transforming everywhere where you are not willing to receive pleasure, everywhere where you've turned down your body. So allow that energy to move through your stomach, to cleanse, to heal, to bring you back to the space of playfulness playfulness everywhere where you've forgotten to play all of those molecules are being activated allow that energy to move through your chest to cleanse your lungs to completely open up your chest and cleanse release cleanse release Moving into your throat chakra and everywhere where you are not willing to show up as the gift of you to show up in the potency of your voice, allow your throat chakra to open up even more where you will now show up in the world, not afraid, not apologizing, but in the beauty of your voice. The beauty of your voice heals the planet. It heals the birds. It heals the trees. It allows the flowers to grow, the bees to pollinate more and the soil to come back to life. That is the power of your voice and everywhere where you have suppressed the power of your voice, release. We move through the energy up through your head and up out into the earth. And then allow a white energy to move from your feet all the way up through your head where you begin to acknowledge that you are not alone and you will never be alone. Acknowledge your divine capacity and potency. And just be with this energy, be in a space of gratitude for what you have received, what you've opened up, what you have released. And thank your body. Thank your body. Just say, hey, body, thank you. You can even touch your face or wherever you feel your body, your hands are leading you. Hey, body, thank you for being on this planet. I am so grateful for you. And as we slowly come back, start to move your body a little bit, open your eyes, and come back into this space of truth. Ah, thank you for that. Thank wow. you for gifting that to the listeners and to all of us. Yeah. I would like to, um, we're going to take a quick break so everybody can just bask in the energy of this. Yeah. And we'll be right back and we're going to be wrapping up the show. So come back after this and Ooh. just uh, have a little wrap up with us and hope your body is in receiving and enjoying the releases mm. that just occurred and the changes that you're about to embark on. <laughs> the pleasure zone here on inspired choices network and we'll be right back after this commercial are you secretly a voyeur Uh, wondering what's going on in other people's sex lives what if now is the time for a totally different sexual evolution are you interested in people who are pioneers of different sexual and pleasurable practices lean in now with Melissa Yelenich 
where she will entice you and your body to know your own pleasure zone. On the Pleasure Zone radio show with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich, you'll receive tools, inspiration, and a foundation to allow yourself to receive more in your sex life and quite possibly other areas of your life as well. Listen for The Pleasure Zone with Milica every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Time on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Pleasure Zone with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich. To participate in the program today, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email info at melitzayelenich.com now back to the program welcome back my sweet pleasure seekers mm. i hope that you joined us for this entire show if you're just jumping in now please go back uh, to the start and listen we've had some really great insights about how to have more pleasure in your life and in mm. your sex life because guess what? It's not actually different. It's all the same thing. And we've also talked about a few other things too, about trauma. And Grace took us through a beautiful meditation clearing for trauma. For those of you who want to go back and listen, it came after the second break. And this is key. And, and it's something that Grace mentioned too on the show. And I just want to reiterate that presence is really key mm -hmm. and integral yeah. for pleasure it's really hard to actually have your body receive pleasure when you're not there yeah yeah so are there any um things you'd like to to uh, sh uh just kind of wrap up yeah this? absolutely i know um like just perceiving the energy like people are like let's talk about sex sex let's talk about sex baby <laughs> let's talk about you and me so yes let's talk about sex so i get that there are a lot of people that don't experience the pleasure of sex and something that you mentioned in the beginning that when you are present with someone's body and in that space of the act of having sex and if you are truly receiving you, they are invited into the space and it becomes this dynamic, explosive energy of creation that takes place. And many people miss out on these pleasures because I know, you know, there's so many, um, you know, there's erectile dysfunction and, you know, women that actually orgasm where you have the capacity to have multiple orgasm where you can just be turned on by life and still orgasm. That is how powerful our bodies are. So how do you receive that? How do you actually create that in your world? And it comes back to everything that we've been saying, like you have been saying, everything is connected. If you are judging yourself, you're not going to be receiving all of those energies. And if you are not willing to be vulnerable and really know what it is that turns you on because sometimes we make certain things so wrong and we say that I if I go there then I'm bad I'm evil and those are the things that actually turn on your body so being willing to yeah yeah we, we tend to do that and we're almost at the end of the show oh. I, want to thank you because yeah. I know it goes fast right <laughs> so fast <laughs> so fast it's, it's wild it's every every monday at eight i'm like what just happened to an hour <laughs> of my life it just disappeared into uh, space and that's kind of the space of presence and that's the beauty of when you are truly present time is not relevant anymore yeah. you don't really notice these things there's usually just yeah. joy enjoy of embodying yeah. enjoy of choosing and for those of you listening you know we've mm. always got a million great topics on the show and there are over 350 podcasts available that you can find for free just go look for them under the pleasure zone and mm. thousands available on inspired choices network and if you would like to have a show like i have just contact inspired choices network and you too can have a show so thanks mm. until next week stay tuned and turned on and thanks grace for coming Ooh. on thank you for listening to the pleasure zone with sensual movement artist Milica Yelenich. 
The Pleasure Zone returns next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, have the best week of your life by choosing to be turned on and tuned in to your body. Ah.